I'm back with my rosé. All right, we're making this a thing. Oh, that is strong. We're making this a thing. You guys loved my wine chat last week about, oh, my the assumptions. So I've been wanting to rant for a little bit about YouTube and I figured this is the perfect opportunity. So first thing, YouTubers spending all their money or spending tons of money. I feel like there's like this phenomenon, phenomenon, I can't talk, you quite, I had one sip, hang on. Okay, so there's this, I still can't say that word, uh, <laughs> this buzz, right? Okay, I've been seeing this a lot lately and that's why it sparked my mind, I wanted to talk about it. That like when YouTubers, especially when they start out like from ground zero, they live in like a one bedroom apartment and then all of a sudden their channel takes off and they start making more and more money. They buy a new house. They buy like luxury designer items. People start hating on them. I'm like, I read these comments and they're like, oh, you've changed or, oh, money has just changed. Like just on and on about why all of a sudden they've changed. And it's like, well, duh, they change. They're making more money now. And if you lived in a one bedroom apartment and then all of a sudden you were making six figures a year, would you not move too? Like it's just so annoying that people like have to hate on them. And why can't YouTube be like a career for people? Like if you go see a movie with Brad Pitt and then the next week you see that Brad Pitt has like a mansion in a magazine and you're not like, oh, he's changed or you don't feel like you don't feel like giving him hate for buying a nice house or celebrities that buy designer clothing like the, all of a sudden though if you like followed them from ground zero and you watch them get their success I feel like people like feel cheated if they don't if they start spending their money and they start earning money and they start having like success I just think that that, that just drives me crazy like be happy for them that they are that they I mean even more than like an actor or something because they literally started from ground zero and they made all the, con usually make all the content themselves, do all the editing. Like if they want to splurge and spend some dough, be happy for them and let them. So that's just like one of my biggest pet peeves when I see YouTubers that take off and then everyone starts hating on them saying that they're too frivolous or all of a sudden they spend money that they didn't used to do because they didn't used to have money when they first started. So that's the first thing. And next thing is sponsorships. I'm all for sponsorships. In fact, I talked about this in one of my vlogs a while back and I think it came across wrong because I am all for sponsors sponsorships. Um, I don't do any because if I do get sponsorships, they're like products that nobody wants. <laughs> so I don't even do them. Um, I usually say no, I've done a few, but like most of the time it's like stupid stuff, but Here's the thing, is I think when people get, especially smaller YouTubers, people that are kind of just starting out getting sponsored videos, they feel like they have to just go on and on and on about the product. I feel like either they feel guilty for doing a sponsored video or they feel awkward or uncomfortable because they're doing a sponsored video and they feel like they just really need to drive that point home that they really like this product. and. <laughs> It's just so obvious, like they're like, um, so this video is sponsored by blah, blah, blah. And I love this, you guys, and I, and they go on and on and on, and it's like, we get it. You like the product because you're getting paid to talk about it. And I understand that usually sponsored videos, they give you key talking points and they want it to go on for, you know, two to three minutes or whatever the, the, the situation is. They give you... Um, kind of like a little layout of how they want it to be done. But you see a lot bigger YouTubers with like a million plus subscribers and they just say like, thank you HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. And then they move on with their life. And I love that because it's like, okay, we know it's sponsored and we get the picture. But instead with the like smaller channels, they're like, and this video is sponsored by HelloFresh and I really like HelloFresh because, and you guys, I'm actually gonna try to start using, an okay, this is literally what I'm gonna say when I get sponsored by HelloFresh, but I feel like they just like go on and on and on about it because they like feel guilty. Like don't feel guilty, no one that's getting sponsored videos is watching this. <laughs> but 
if they were to watch this, I would say to them, don't feel guilty for making money and earning an income and being sponsored by a company. Like, that's really cool. So I feel like smaller channels, they feel guilty and so they try to like go on and on about the product and like really like drive it home and it's just, it's annoying. Um, what else? I feel like I was, those things were gonna take up a lot more time than they did. <laughs> um, what else though? I can talk about Instagram. Oh gosh, I have something to say about Instagram. It's not really Instagram's fault, but um, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings either, but I've been there. Okay, so can we talk about it? Network marketing. I am in two different network marketing companies, currently active, so I'm not hating. I think it's a great way to make a living and everything, but here's the thing is I hate when I get messages from like people that I don't know and they like start up a conversation and then like they're trying to be really nice and sweet and then all of a sudden they ask me to like join their like fitness challenge. I like to work out and I don't want to work out at home and I don't want to join a team and I don't want to do some challenge and I don't want to, I just don't. And I'm such a nice person that I don't want to be, I also don't know how to say no. And lately, I've been getting flooded with these messages. And I think it's because it's like, here's the thing, you guys. You know, you know, you post a picture lifting weights, you post a cute little selfie at the gym, you're feeling good about yourself. Two minutes later, you get a DM. And you know, you know what it's gonna be. Hey girl, what kind of workouts do you do? I just hate it and I don't know how to like, I always am super polite because I get it, I've been there. Like when I started out with network marketing, like they told me to cold message people all day and it's so stressful and nobody wants to do that and no one wants to get those messages so why do we do it? Like if you are building a successful business, if you're just posting and talking about it, people are gonna wanna know what you're doing and they're gonna ask and they're gonna join and they're gonna do it too. Like you don't need to start reaching out to strangers because that just gets, old and honestly I mean I get it's just it's always fitness too I don't know why but it's always fitness for me but I just it's uh, I don't know it's a pet peeve of mine that's it that's all I gotta say about that so I'm sorry and if you have messaged me I'm not I'm sorry <laughs> if you've messaged me in the past it's okay we can still be friends I just don't want to be on your team and um I think I've done that though before too. I mean, I did it too. It's fine. It's fine. We're all good. Okay, what else can I talk about? Cuz that was those were like my big 3 topics, honestly. That was it. That was like I was like this is going to be a great video. We're going to just sit down here. I'm going to I'm going to drink. David's going to vacuum, bless his heart. I'm blessed. He's going to vacuum. I'm going to drink wine and I'm going to talk to you guys about these 3 topics that were just burning in my mind about social media. Now I've already said them and it's only been eight minutes. All right, apparently my camera also thought that I was done because it just stopped working because I was out of memory. So I just deleted a ton of clips. So meanwhile, I was thinking about what to talk about, but I still couldn't come up with anything else. Um, but what kind of YouTubers do you guys like watching? because I've had a lot of you guys that have told me about different YouTubers and then I've started watching them. Like literally, okay, my favorite YouTuber right now is Tara Henderson. And a long time ago, maybe like a year ago, one of you guys told me to start watching her. And that is how I found her, it was through one of you guys. And I would have found her eventually through Aaron Williams, but I found her like before that. And I love her. Like, I'm obsessed with her. She is like, her and Aaron are my absolute faves. I also like Hillary Alex, who is Tara's friend. And she's freaking hilarious. And she has like, I don't know how many now, maybe like 9,000 or so subscribers. So she's still small. So go subscribe to her and make her big so that she can move out of her apartment and get a bunch of crap. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I really like those three. Um, Tara's amazing. She's 
so freaking cute and pretty and her daughters are adorable and I'm so excited she's having a baby boy because um, she has the best style for her daughter so I cannot like wait to see how she dresses her baby boy and I'm going to like have to copy everything. <laughs> because she has such good style um, but also they're really sweet like her husband Adam has been doing on his Instagram he's been doing like YouTube um, help like helpful hints and stuff on his Instagram and he's like DM me like your channel and like questions and so I totally did and he was like so sweet like giving me like honest feedback and helping me with different things and I'm like this is amazing like He's just going out of his way to like help small channels. I think that is so cool because that doesn't like benefit him in any way. Like he's not getting any benefit from it. He's just genuinely like wanting to help people. And I just think that that is so cool about them. Like they're just really like down to earth and I love her channel. So, but yeah, tell me who else you guys like. I'm not just into, I'm, I feel like my favorite is mommy vloggers cause that's what I am. I like to watch mommy vloggers. Um, I don't mind when their husband gets involved, but when they're like too involved, it gets annoying. Like there's sometimes when the husband, people are like, oh, we wanna see more of your husband. And I'm like, why? Like when the husband starts vlogging and they're awkward with the camera and then all of a sudden their husband's in it more and more. And I'm just like, why are you here now? Like I just joined because I wanted to watch like your cute wife talk about like what she bought at Target. <sighs> but I still do like family vlogs a little bit like, um, Hey, what is it? Okay, baby. They're my favorite family vloggers right now. Um, pretty much the only one. I don't watch a ton of like like family ones. Like I don't really want to watch the kids as much as I just care about like what the mom is doing and like parenting techniques and stuff. But I'm really into K baby. No, not K what are they called? KK and Baby J. Them. I'm really into them right now. She's like super freaking hot right now. Like into fitness. Like they're she's coming out with like a fitness app. So if you don't know who I'm talking about, go follow her. Um, yeah, she just got a boob job and she looks incredible. And yeah, I'm like loving their videos. Uh, they were, never mind. <laughs> I'm not going to say. Um, but yeah, I really do like her videos, their videos. Oh, and she's like doing her own little like spinoff channel. I mean, she already had her own channel, but she's like revamping it. And the first episode came out of it and I really liked it. I mean, it was okay. It wasn't like... I think I like the direction that it's going in. So there's that. If we're also going to talk about episodes and like good directions is Shane Dawson, obviously. I cannot wait for his new thing. I don't know when this video is going to go up. Probably right around the same time or after his new series starts. And I'm so excited. David watches. Um, we watched together his last thing. What was it? Um... The Jake Paul thing. Yeah, I loved it. So this one is like a conspiracy thing. He put out a preview and it looks so good. I cannot wait to watch that. I really like how creative he is and I think it's so cool that YouTubers are just like really like taking it seriously and like like coming out with like series and episodes and like really just like treating it as if it were like a TV show. I think that is so cool. My channel will never, never be like that, but I do think that that's really cool. But I think it's nice to have both because I think other people just want to sit here and watch like real raw what I bought at Target stuff, like what I do. Um, but I do really like him. I'm excited. I also like to watch just like random vlogging girls. <laughs> If you know, like, like cute vlogging girls, I sound like a creep. No, you know what I mean? Like, I love Alex from HRH Collection. She is hands down, like, my favorite because she's hilarious. I literally die laughing. You guys need to watch, like, one of her. Although, a lot of people I say that to, and then they're like, I didn't like her. Yeah, maybe it's just you have to like her personality. She doesn't give a single... And she just goes on and on and rants in her car and just like, it is just so funny. Sometimes she's a little too much, but I just love it. I love it. I eat it up. I love it. Pour myself a glass of wine. I like save her videos for like a Friday night with a glass of wine because they're just so good. Oh, I have one tonight. I'm so excited. And she just spends tons of money on like purses and she like dresses up her dog in outfits. Oh my gosh. She was talking about how she was going to take her dog's outfits to the doggy shelter. I'm like, I really don't think they're going to need 37 designer doggy outfits at the shelter, but that's just really sweet of her. So check her out. She's a hoot. 
And um, yeah, I think like that's pretty much all I have to talk about. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it off here because I don't know what else to say. But I am gonna start doing these more regularly. Um, I'm just gonna pour myself a glass of wine, think of a topic, and chit chat. Maybe I'd like to get these up on Fridays. Also, I'm like trying that new schedule thing and then some people are like, oh, I really like it. And some people are like, oh, I hate it. Personally, I don't love it, but I wanna grow and expand my channel. And I feel like um, that was just one of the things I wanted to start doing was really just getting a schedule out there. Um, but if I don't like it in another month, I definitely am just gonna go back to regular random uploads because that's like, it's doable for me and it's easy and it's a fun surprise. And I think someone even said like, just make sure they have their bell notifications on. So if you have your bell notifications on, you'll get like a little notification on your phone whenever I upload. And then you can just add it to your watch later list and you won't have to worry about missing one. So that way you can always catch them. You don't have to like wait for a certain time of day. Um, but where was I going with that? Oh, <laughs> So I wanna try to do some of these on like Friday nights or upload them at least on Friday nights for you guys because they're kind of fun. I have a few different ideas for some other ones, just like little simple topics. But I was thinking maybe on days that I don't do this, I don't, I'm not that interested in YouTube Live. It seems weird, I don't know, I don't know. But I was thinking I could do Instagram Lives and do the same kind of thing and that would actually be better because it would be more interactive. You guys can comment and I can like read the comments and we can talk about whatever you guys are, whatever's on your mind. So I want to do that maybe on days that I don't upload on the weekends or whatever. Um, I might do one with David. I might do one with my girlfriend. I don't know. So I think that will be fun too. So if you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. I'm going to try to do some lives and pop on there and chit chat with you guys. And yeah, I think that is it. This wine is so good. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat and I will see you guys in my next video.